So, uh, Nerida, would you mind just um, introducing yourself and saying why you're here today? Yeah, um, my name's Nerida and the main reason I'm here today is, um, is the history surrounding this place and also my grandfather and my dad worked for the railways and so there's quite a history with that as well. So right. that's my re main reason for being here today in honour of them really. Yeah, so, um, yeah. It's nice that you're talking directly to me because we're, we're, uh, that's, that's the nice thing about uh, with Josh positioning himself where he is. If you talk with me, then we get a nice eye line with the camera. Okay. And that's, that's a good okay. thing. Okay. Um, so tell me about uh, your family connection with Everly. Um, well, my family connection is my grandfather worked for the railways and so did my dad. Um, my grandfather worked all his life with the railways and he also retired from the railways. My dad worked for the railways um, when he was a young man, I think. Uh, I think he was about 15 or 16 when he started working for them. And um, he did um, have an accident. I don't know how it happened, but he started off as a shunter and he was shunting a train from what I understand. And the train, something happened and the train ran over his left foot and he lost all his toes. So he, in those days, they, when they went to hospital, they usually spent quite a bit of time in hospital. They didn't sort of um, come out of hospital as quickly as they do today. So I think from what I've been told, he spent like at least two or three months in hospital because you know, I guess it's to do with the, the healing and then perhaps the rehabilitation and everything else. But um, I do remember my family talking about that and saying he was in hospital for quite a long time. Do was, you, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no. Do you remember your family had um, uh, lots of railway friendships? Like, did your dad have lots of friends um, in the railways? My dear, dad had some friends. I, to be honest, I didn't meet a lot of them. Um, I'm sure he did have friends, but we didn't. I was very young, like I was the youngest of five children, so that's why I don't remember as much as probably other members of my family might, you know. And he did speak about the railways a little bit, but not a, not a huge amount, you know, so. Um, and, and what about, you were telling me before, can you, can you tell me about the railway picnics? Oh yes, we went to Nielsen's Park for the railways picnics. And um, we used to have so much fun there, you know, we would swim and, and they also had games organised for the kids which we all uh, participated in and they were a lot of fun and it was just a good family fun day, you know, the, all the railway families there the, and the children and it, it was a very happy and memorable day, you know, that's what I remember about it mostly, you know. So. And your grandpa, what did he do? My grandfather, he was... Um, I honestly can't recall what he did when he first started for the railways, but I have his marriage certificate, which indicates he was a clerk for the railways, but I think, I have a feeling he didn't start in that area. He may have started in another area before he graduated to becoming a clerk. Yeah, so. 